Consumer cellular. I am a frustrated customer at this point. I have a number of technical issues with your service. Your customer service reps, I have no issue with whatsoever, and I must compliment them on their exemplary service in trying to resolve my problems. Uh, they, they go above and beyond trying to resolve my issues, but I think they are limited by the nature of your business, the fact that you don't have your own infrastructure that you control and maintain. You are using T-Mobile and, and AT&T. Now, I've been told by Consumer Cellular that I have adequate and sufficient coverage for both T-Mobile and AT&T where I live. So these issues should not be happening. And I'm, I'm really still thinking that on your end of, of my connection, we can make some kind of changes uh, and resolve the issue. I have been in touch with them on a regular basis over the last month about their service and I found out that consumer cellular is not really a phone carrier or a cellular phone carrier like Sprint, Verizon, uh, T-Mobile, AT&T. They are a reseller which means uh, they're kind of a middleman between the company that provides the networks and the consumer. So consumer cellular utilizes one of two networks, either AT&T or T-Mobile. So they lease use of their network and they send us the customer, whichever SIM card for the respective network that seems to have the most coverage around the area where the consumer lives. Well, early on in, uh, I started with Consumer Cellular after leaving Verizon for the reduced cost. And uh, I started with T-Mobile is the SIM card they sent me. And then early on, uh, I found out that my text messages were failing, and I didn't know why. Uh, you know, I'd send the message, and it would work at trying to send it, and uh, it would eventually, after about 60 seconds, come back and say failed and give me an option to either resend it, edit it, or delete it. Well, I called Consumer Cellular on it, and they said, uh, well, it could be that because I'm in a brick house that could be uh, inhibiting the signal. Uh, the fact that on my cell phone where I sit here in my office talking to you, I have uh, two bars of signal strength and it oscillates between one and two bars. Uh, now, if I go outside on my patio in the back, I'll have five bars. But I shouldn't have to go outside every time I want to send a text message. Uh, so uh, it went along and along and, and somehow I lived with it. And then I finally learned that I could, when I got a failed message or saw that it was beginning to fail with the circle going around, I could go and turn on, or turn on airplane mode. And then almost immediately it would say failed message because I just disconnected from the network and I'd turn on or turn off airplane mode and it would reattach to, or reconnect to the tower. And then I would resend that message and it would go right away. And maybe subsequent messages might go for a certain length of time. Well, I got tired of doing that. And they once told me I should go out and back and power up the phone to make the connection to the network and then go inside and continue my business. 
Well, I couldn't think of that because I go directly to the breakfast table, except this morning where I couldn't get to it. And uh, uh, so I decided to call them. And I also found out I might be, end up switching my phone. And and but Consumer Cellular didn't have any of the Samsung phones in stock uh, for a, a decent price or an affordable price. So I called Samsung and I could get. Uh, a replacement phone and I could get $250 for my existing phone and I think I could get the price down uh, to about $749 uh, rather than a thousand or more uh, through the latest and greatest uh, for Samsung through consumer cellular so that was just another annoyance and then they decided they said well why don't you try the the T uh, the AT&T sim card Okay, so they sent me an AT&T SIM card, and uh, they activated it, and I put it in the phone, and oh, I'm sorry, let me back up. In the meantime, I found out that my visual voicemail application that I used forever since coming from Verizon was no longer working. It couldn't identify the network I was on all of a sudden, and I call Consumer Cellular, and they tell me, uh, well, we have it in our documentation right here in big, bold, red letters. Uh, we don't recommend a third-party visual voicemail app on Android phones. And I tried to fit, find out why from them, and they just kind of told me that it was, uh, it was not stable and it was not uh, 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 consistent and, and it's not their app. And I says, well, why don't you get one of your own apps? So I'll use your app if, if you have to have control over it. Well, because they're a reseller, I don't think they have a development department necessarily. Uh, they don't have engineers that, that do that kind of thing, I guess. So that's what prompted me. And then I ended up just this past weekend, uh, I got Friday, I got a, a young lady there, Consumer Cellular, that said, well, why don't we why don't we go back to a new, a brand new T-Mobile SIM card? Because maybe those SIM cards get burned, which means they get fried and they get damaged or they no longer function. Okay, fine. Well, it was going to take a week for them to get me, uh, more than a week to get me the new SIM card for T-Mobile. So I called somebody on Sunday to see if they could activate the old T-Mobile card. And they said, no, they couldn't. It was probably damaged. So I said, well, I'm not going to wait another week for the one. I says, why don't I just go over to Target and get a new T-Mobile SIM card? And he says, yeah, you can do that. And they reimbursed me for the cost. I put it in the phone and I called somebody at 5 o'clock on Sunday and they activated, activated it. And I immediately sent a text message to the guy that I was having trouble with before. And it went from the very same seat that I'm sitting in right now. And it was successful. So I said, hey, this is great. And I said, well, what about visual voicemail? Well, I went and got, uh, uh, I guess I had the visual voicemail from the Play Store already on the phone. So I, I launched it. And sure enough, if it didn't say, uh, well, uh, welcome to visual voicemail. We're connecting to your network. And uh, hit next to continue. And it had never done that before. And so it hit next to continue and it asked me some other, my name and, and maybe phone number or credentials or something. And sure enough, it was functioning. So Sunday night, I was fat, dumb and happy. Uh, but then today being Tuesday, yesterday, my text messages started to fail again. And they failed even this morning. Now, my visual voicemail is still working, but my text message is not. And I was just on the phone with T-Mobile twice, uh, or with Consumer Cellular on my T-Mobile card twice while I was in transit to Sam's Club with my wife, and I thought I could handle it over my cell phone. Well, I'll be doggone if my cell phone didn't drop the call. And when you drop the call with a tech support rep, they don't call you back. They're done with you. They move on to the next one. And so I tried two of those. Twice I got disconnected from them 
Or no, the one time I missed their call because the phone didn't ring long enough and they were gone. The second time I got them, and uh, <coughs> but I set the phone down in the in the in the car, and somehow it closed the call. I don't know why. I don't understand why Samsung would do that. Anyway, long story short, I've had trouble getting in touch with them, and everybody's got trouble with the COVID and staffing and. Half of their staff is out and, you know, all sorts of excuses. And so fine. I was going to wait till I got home. And after this interview or video, uh, I would call them again with my home phone and see if I couldn't get them and deal with it. But then I said, well, heck, on my way home, I'll call Microsoft. So I called Microsoft and they, uh, because I got another problem with a computer that I'm working on. And so... Uh, I got the same story from them. Well, all of our agents are working with our customers, but we can call you back. We'll save your place in line. So I saved my place in line. They called me back just as I was uh, coming into the house. And I came into my office here and I was talking with them and they were asking me, what's the best phone number to call me back? And my cell phone dropped the call again. So I got disconnected from Microsoft. So I've got disconnection problems or dropped calls and primarily text messaging is my problem with consumer cellular right now. And I really don't want to switch to another provider because they're they're more costly. They're about uh, $20 more per line and I've got two lines for cell covers, but I, but I can't work with this kind of thing with not knowing whether my calls are going to stay together. And uh, I'm so that's what prompted me to try to find, and they don't even have an email for customer feedback, not even from their website. So I looked up, uh, was it Merrick in uh, that I put in the letter that I, I, that you guys got a hold of. And I really didn't know how I got a hold of, of a pissed customer, to be honest with you. I was looking for some place, and all of a sudden it came up to that I could enter a review, and apparently it must have been you guys. So I found the name of John Merrick, and so I sent that off. Now, I don't have any idea whether he's going to see that, whether you will forward it to him or, or what, because I don't, there's no place, well, yeah, there is a snail mail address on their website, but with all the problems in the post office and uh, all of that, we don't want to do that either. So, <laughs> you know, it's a, uh, it's a catch 22. I don't know what more I can say at this point. It's just real frustrating.